Hi everyone, welcome to all. This is Dr. Hare Krishna, Computer Science and Engineering Department. Today our topic is Anatomy of Cloud Computing. What is the you how the anatomy of cloud computing? The anatomy of cloud autonomy can be simply defined as the basic structure of the cloud computing. For example, if you have take any cloud, the cloud we have follow the these are the best structure that is called as the anatomy of cloud that means the cloud it has providing it has contain the the basic structure for example you can take aws or azure whatever it may different different uh, type of uh, cloud is there but this all the you have provided the basic structure in the basic structure you have derived from nist national institute for Ta standard and technology so it has basic structure it has contained the five components is there the five components the first one is the application for application platform infrastructure virtualization and physical hardware these are the basic uh, uh, components of your cloud computing now the first one is you have come to the top to bottom the top means application okay bottom is the physical hardware bottom is the physical hardware that is nothing but a server storage and data centers now you want to require uh, this thing first uh, that means first you want to be establish one uh, physical uh, component physical hardware requirements these are the physical hardware is provided by the server and storage unit that means the physical hardware is very important the without physical hardware we cannot be uh, create we cannot be create or we cannot be accessing the cloud computing Why? that means if the client it has maintained the physical component and also virtualized also the cloud it has provided the physical components so these are the components who are provided these are the comp components you have to provide into the server and storage unit okay now that means the server is also called as a system or computer okay but in the server it has providing the all the services the server is 24 by 7 it is working principle it has always working the storage means you have to store some data or you have to store some information to in our storage devices so these two we have providing the physical hardware components and next level is virtualization and the virtualization is the process of making logical components of the resources the existing physical resources the logical components are isolated or independent which form the infrastructure that means the physically hardware components you want to be take for example if you have to take one comp one pc one computer is there your la personal laptop or whatever it may be in the personal lap in the computer in your pc in the virtual you have initial for example in the virtualization point of view the real time virtualization application is vmware vmware is the one of virtualization first the vmware you want to install in our system after that you want to open the vmware the vmware you have to be installed another operating system different type of operating system for example you want to working uh, simultaneously or parallel you have to be working a uh, different uh, uh, types of operating system in that case you want to use for the virtualizations the virtualized you have to be accessing everything for example in the laptop you want to install vmware the vmware it has containing to the it has you have to install the user can be installed operating different different type of operating system for example in the laptop is windows if you want to require for the linux mission so the linux os you have to install in our virtual machine though the user you want to be simultaneously you have uh, working to the windows operating system and uh, linux operating system the virtualization it has uh, two different type of virtualization is there para virtualization beta virtualizations in the further classes you want to discussing the virtualization concept and next one is the infrastructure the infrastructure it has contained consisting of a resources where the uh, which, which it has containing the other components work this provides computationally capability to the users you have to be providing the infrastructures you have to providing the infrastructures 
that means the cloud it has providing the different different type of infrastructures for example you have providing for example the user into be required uh, one super computer infrastructure the user into require windows 10 uh, operating system uh, infrastructure will be required the uh, system you have to provide the client you have to be required uh, from big storage the client you have required uh, some different type of uh, applications like that one so infrastructure means you have to providing the different type of platforms different type of uh, components different uh, based upon the user requirements so the type of uh, com uh, op components you have to be um, consisting of the user responsibility to executions user responsibility to the designing the work so it has a capability to the user and next one is a platform the platform is the components you want to consisting of platform that are responsible for the execution of the applications this platform is between the infrastructure and the applications that means uh, the for example if you have in our system not supporting the uh, python uh, so latest uh, python not supported for example in our system not supporting the anaconda your system not supporting the pycham so that time what you can do simply we have to be go for the virtual platform different platforms they have providing the cloud computing so you want to uh, go to the cloud you have to be you can take the resources and then you can be you can require different type of platforms and you have to take the different type of platforms you want to be choose the cloud the user you want to be choosing and the platform you want to working everything so the platform you want to providing the education purpose once the user you have create for example the user want to be uh, designing one uh, uh, program on applications or uh, designing can execute on problem statement based on the problem statement uh, the programmer have written and so on so the type of how we can be executed how we can be written how we can be platform oriented these all the things you have to provide in the platform so the platform also one part of for in our cloud computing so the platform you can be providing the cloud and next one is applications this upper layer this is the last layer the upper layer is the application layer in this layer any applications are executed now for example the user the user you want not uh, designing any applications just you want to be accessing the application in that case some another persons you have to be deploy the application now the user like the credential point of view the user want to be credential take the credentials like for example login and password after login and password you want to be accessing everything for example the user cannot any uh, not cannot be doing uh, not doing anything just you want to be accessing only just you want to for example like you can see uh, we have take uh, uh, canvas and sketch up is not like anything but like uh, the educational purpose is a educational purpose now in this educational purpose is not type of software application in is a software application uh, in that application in, in that application you have to be use in that application you have to be use just utilizing the services you cannot do anything just you want to utilize the service that is called as applications so this is totally there is called as an anatomy of the cloud so in the cloud you have providing these five features application platform infrastructure and virtualization and physical hardware okay these all the major components once any how take any cloud the cloud must and should the cloud must should we have to providing these all the things once you have to provide these all the things just we can say that this is a cloud computing for example the cloud does not providing the hardware components so this is not a cloud for example the cloud not providing the platform so it is not a cloud so must you have providing the these all the features these all the features so when in these features you have to provide one structure this is called the structure of in our cloud the basic five components of in our cloud okay now you have the task is there uh, some questions i uh, have thinking five minutes okay how many components to provide the cloud computing how many components to provide the cloud computing now once you have thinking the cloud you can how we can say that this is the cloud computing that means the cloud it has providing the some structure it has follow some structure the structure it has contain the some features okay then the structure how many count that means how many numbers is there how many components is there that is our question how many components to provide the cloud computing 
how many components to provide the cloud company just you want to thinking 5 minutes just you have to thinking 5 minutes okay now the answer is now the answer is 5 components how many components 5 components now the structure it has providing the five components and and next question is now we want to list out the components of cloud computing just want to list out now in the previous question is how many components five components what are there are list out the particular components just want to be list out the components now the components the structure we have to providing these all the components now we can say that this is the cloud computing now you after that the cloud is mandatory the cloud it has mandatory we can be internet without internet you cannot do anything so it is mandatory you have providing the internet good bandwidth also internet and good bandwidth now the question is list out components of cloud computing the structure of uh, in uh, anatomy of cloud in the structure basic structure is there in the basic structure how many uh, basic structure we, we can just list out the components now the answer is application platform infrastructure and virtualization and physical hardware these all the five is the basic uh, components of uh, in our cloud computing okay now uh, tomorrow uh, next class we have to discussing to the uh, next class we have to discuss network connectivity in the cloud computing okay thank you thank you one and all